What an exciting morning this is from Taylor with the return of the royal family and now our wild dogs right in the middle of the road that I drove down 10 minutes ago, Via? Yeah, we'll go with 10 minutes ago. And they must have just popped out. So they are just starting their morning, having a little bit of a lazy lion, which is unusual for wild dogs. But I think on this cool and misty morning, they're not the, the desire to get moving is not as urgent because it's not as hot. Or it's not going to be as hot. Oh, did you get your tail? Yes. This is one of the most wonderful moments to spend with wild dogs when they start to wake up and you get all of the squeals and the greeting ceremonies that occur. Oh, big yawns. And pups all resting in the middle of the road. Hello, gorgeous. It is such a pleasure to properly see wild dogs again. It feels like forever. And I haven't seen this pack properly since last year, I think. It must have been since last year's puppies were still small. And all of a sudden they vanished off when it was time for them to start denning again. So to actually see them properly is a true joy. I've been missing them. Last year we had so many incredible sightings with the Investic pack. There's the one with the collar that's being monitored so that the people researching them and monitoring them can keep track of the movements of these dogs. So that's why that wild dog has a collar. And for our new viewers, these dogs are critically endangered so to see any wild dog is a truly special thing indeed they're less probably around 500 probably less than 500 in south africa and most of them are based in the area that we're in now which is in the greater kruger national park area and the number sort of just sits under 200 sometimes a bit more sometimes a bit less but of course they've got such a high mortality rate that any living member of the species is to be treasured and is very very special Little nips and playful bites. Now, George, you want to know when did this pack arrive in this area? George, I think they've been moving around for several years now. So they've been moving around the Manuleti. They den in the Manuleti, or at least I think they den in the Manuleti. That's that's what we that's what we heard about last year. So they move around quite a bit, all the way sort of towards Open and then back south towards us. Orpid is the is the rest camp and a gate in the Kruger part of this reserve. So they've been moving around for a few years. It's only recently, though, that we've started seeing them properly again. Only in the last week or so, actually, that we started seeing the Investic pack properly and had a chance to see how much their cu their cubs. Oh goodness, their pups have grown. <laughs> this one. <laughs> gentle playful bites a wild dog of all of the animals out here is a truly altruistic creature the pups are treated like gold they're treasured they get to eat first and if they go up to an adult and beg even an adult that's hardly had anything to eat the adult will turn around and regurgitate are you looking at the royal family or you were looking at the royal family with taylor stealth predators um, wild dogs are not well i suppose in a way they are stealth predators just because they move so incredibly fast but they don't work on ambush tactics they run and once these dogs get going luckily brent is out on tracking team and i'm sure he's very excited to come and help us keep up now they course through the bush and they're very very effective hunters kyle you want to good morning hello girl i want to get a properly acquainted now with the members of this pack. Kyle, you want to know if the fog this morning will help the wild dogs hunting? I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference just because the style is, but a slight, their hunting style is slightly different. Mm, might muffle the sound a little bit, so perhaps that might help.